FlexPod Data Center for Hybrid Cloud Deploying an e-commerce application in a hybrid cloud environment In this video, we will cover Deploying Application Blueprint in Cisco Cloud Center Securely Connecting Data Center, Private Storage, and Amazon Web Services Deploying Application Instances in Private or the Public Clouds Cloud Bursting Providing consistent data across the clouds and automated data replication and availability. OpenCart is a two tier open source e business application. OpenCart consists of an Apache and PHP based catalog front end and a MySQL database back end. Deploying OpenCard in a hybrid cloud environment alongside NetApp Private Storage provides several distinct advantages. This unique deployment model supports seamless multi-cloud deployments. Enterprise maintains control of critical data while being able to deploy applications across various clouds. The blueprint defined in Cisco Cloud Center enables application deployment at private or the public clouds. An IPsec tunnel is established to securely connect the NetApp storage at the data center to the NetApp private storage hosted at Equinix. A second IPsec tunnel enables secure communication between virtual machines deployed in FlexPod data center and the Amazon Web Services. Virtual machines running in Amazon Web Services access NetApp private storage over a low latency 1 gig direct link. Equinix Data Center allows secure and high-performance integration between NetApp Private Storage and leading cloud providers. NetApp Cluster Data ONTAP enables data mobility between the on-premise FlexPod Data Center and NetApp Private Storage. Let's look at deploying an application blueprint in Cisco Cloud Center. Login to Cisco Cloud Center. Verify the FlexPod and AWS Cloud accounts. For the OpenCart application, select an end tier execution to model a new application. Model the OpenCart web tier first, define operating system, script and package location, and firewall policies. Next, model the OpenCart database tier, as before, define operating system, script and package location, and firewall policies, for the database VM. Enter the application name, version, and description. Enter any additional deployment parameters, and save the application blueprint. At this point, application modeling is complete. The application can now be deployed to the available clouds in Cisco Cloud Center. Let's use the recently created application blueprint to deploy the OpenCart application on the FlexPod private cloud. Cisco Cloud Center allows you to copy the existing application blueprint to save various versions of the application. In this demo, we will use a copy of the original blueprint called OpenCart Base. Click on the application icon to start the deployment process. Provide a name for this application instance. Cisco Cloud Center allows you to use tags to select the application deployment location. Select the tag called Production to deploy the application instance on the FlexPod private cloud. You can monitor the application VM deployment using vCenter. Application VMs will be cloned and deployed on the VMware environment. Cisco Cloud Center provides VM details, such as IP addresses, host names, and the current tasks being executed. A blinking light means application is currently being deployed. A solid green light means the application tier deployment is complete.
When all the application tiers are deployed successfully, an Access Application button appears on Cisco Cloud Center. Click this button to access the OpenCart application. OpenCart application is now deployed in the private data center and is ready to be used. Let's use the same blueprint, OpenCart Base, to deploy an application instance in the public cloud. Enter the name for the application instance in Amazon Web Services. Select the tag called Development to deploy this instance of the application in AWS. You can log into the AWS console to see the application VMs being deployed. When the application deployment completes, Click the Access Application button. Open Cart Application Instance in AWS is now ready for use. Now that we have covered deploying an application in the private as well as public clouds, let's use the same application blueprint to deploy a hybrid instance of the application. We will deploy Database VM on the FlexPod private cloud. The Web VM will be deployed on the Amazon public cloud. In this scenario, Enterprise utilizes the public cloud resources for deploying web servers. The enterprise maintains the control over the critical user data by keeping the database in-house. Before deploying the distributed application, make sure the VPN tunnel to AWS is up and working. Enter the name for the application instance. Select the tag called Hybrid to deploy this instance of the application in FlexPod as well as the AWS clouds. Select AWS cloud for the web VM and FlexPod private cloud for the database VM. When the application deployment completes, click the Access Application button. A hybrid open cart application instance is now ready for use. Now that we have three different instances of the application deployed, let's look at response times from various instances of the application. As shown in the figure, the FlexPod private cloud is located on the U.S. East Coast. The AWS zone is located on the U.S. West Coast. A client located in an adjacent facility to the FlexPod data center will access all three instances of the application. For this validation, we will utilize the curl command on the client to measure the page response times. Since the application instance deployed in the FlexPod data center is closest to the client, we expect the fastest response from this instance. Curl reported a very low sub-second total time of 0.115 seconds to download a web page from the OpenCart application. Our second OpenCart instance is deployed on AWS Public Cloud on the West Coast Zone. The distance between the client on East Coast and the application instance on West Coast causes additional delay in website response. In this case, Curl reported a sub-second total time of 0.632 seconds to download the same page. Our third and final deployment instance results in web server deployed on the west coast and the database server deployed on the east coast. These two VMs communicate with each other over an IPsec tunnel. Because of the back and forth communication between the application tiers across the continent, the distributed application results in a very high total time of around 9 seconds to download the web page.
Here we show the web page load times for all three instances of the application. Looking at the web page load times, it is fairly obvious that in case of distributed deployment, the application tier should be geographically closer to each other and should be able to communicate over a low latency link. At this time, we will evaluate deploying the OpenCart application using NetApp Private Storage. NetApp Private Storage will enable the enterprise to deploy both web and database servers in the cloud, while maintaining the control of critical user data. The customer data from the production instance of the application is moved to an NFS volume in the FlexPod data center. This NFS volume is then synced with the NetApp private storage using SnapMirror. Any new application instance deployment in the cloud utilizes a Flex clone of the Snap destination. Since the data between FlexPod Data Center and NetApp Private Storage is kept in sync using SnapMirror, any new instances of the application deployed in the cloud will have an up-to-date customer data for development or test purposes. Now that we have all the components in place, it is time to put the complete solution together. In this solution, a production application is running in the FlexPod Data Center and uses an NFS volume to save customer data. The solution allows any new dev or test instance of the application to be deployed on the FlexPod private or the AWS public clouds. Using automated scripts referenced through Cisco Cloud Center, most recent customer data is made available to the new application instances in either cloud. An OpenCart application blueprint called OpenCart app is created. The OpenCart application is set up to call a script after the service initialization is complete. This script automatically configures the storage controller, as well as database server to load latest available customer data. Let's access the production instance of the application called OC-VMware. Verify a user called F1 at OC.com exists and has a few items added to his shopping cart. On successful deployment of a new application instance, this user and his cart should also be available in the cloud instance of the application. Let's deploy an instance of the fully automated open cart application in Amazon Cloud. Provide the name of the application instance. Select development tag to deploy the application in the public cloud. Verify the settings and click Deploy. As before, you can validate the application VM deployment in the Amazon Web Services console. When the application deployment completes, you can log into the NetApp private storage controller and verify a new volume has been created. This new volume uses the application deployment name, appended with the service request ID, for easy trackability. Access the OpenCart application instance and verify that the user, f1 at oc.com, and his cart information has been replicated. As we can see, the user and the cart information is now available in this new instance of the application. The user data has successfully been replicated and mounted in this new environment. Now that we have finished deploying an application, which retrieves the user data from NetApp Private Storage in Equinix, let's validate the web page load time for this new application instance. 
As before, we will access the application deployed on the AWS West Coast Zone from a client on East Coast, and will utilize curl command to check the website load time. Since the web and the database servers are co-located, and the user data is accessed over a low latency 1 gig link, the response time is nearly identical to the application deployed entirely in the cloud. FlexPod solution with NetApp Private Storage enables customers to control their critical user data while maintaining excellent application response time. FlexPod solution for hybrid cloud automatically performs data cleanup when the application instances are no longer needed. Customer critical data copies are destroyed for additional security as soon as the application instances are deleted. Scripts orchestrated through Cisco Cloud Center. Access the appropriate NetApp controller and delete the flex volume associated with the application instance. The cleanup script is executed when the database services are stopped, and database VM is about to be deleted by the Cisco Cloud Center. For the previously deployed application instance, OC Public 01, an NFS volume with the same name, exists on NetApp Private Storage Controller. The application instance will now be deleted through Cisco Cloud Center. We can verify the application VMs are in the process of getting deleted through the AWS Management Console. When we log back into the NetApp Private Storage Controller and look at the volumes, the volume associated with the application instance is no longer present. Let's recap what we covered in this demonstration video. Cisco Cloud Center allows customers to easily manage and deploy applications across private and the public clouds. FlexPod Data Center for Hybrid Cloud allows customers to utilize the resources in public clouds while maintaining control of critical customer data. NetApp Data Fabric allows customers to securely access consistent data across multiple public clouds. The low latency direct link between Equinix data center and public clouds provides vastly improved application response times. Automated data provisioning and cleanup streamlines the process of deploying development and test instances with up-to-date customer data.